Hey guys, I'm Eric from Late to the Game Outdoors. I uh, wanted to talk again about archery. Uh, my archery elk season starts in 25 days, so it is just a mad scramble for me to get as much time as I can out here in the desert shooting, uh, getting my gear dialed in, doing scouting, all that stuff that you're all trying to find time to do as well. Uh, so last video talked about what I called some software issues, which were a couple tweaks I made to my actual technique, me as the shooter, uh, that have made a big difference in my consistency and getting rid of some of those flyers off to the left that I was having. Uh, today I want to talk about one piece of hardware that I adjusted that I think is making a difference as well. Uh, I think the temptation a lot of times for us as archers is to believe that surely it couldn't be us, it has to be our equipment. Uh, and so we're trying to get the latest and greatest bow or try a thousand different releases or uh, new sites, new whatever. We could, I mean, these are grown-up men Barbie dolls. We could add a thousand things to these uh, just to try to dial things in, make things better, when I think a lot of times we should spend more time on us as shooters. However, there is value in the hardware side of things and some stuff to look at uh, that could actually really help our performance as archers. So the one thing that I was looking into and starting to suspect was my stabilizer. Uh, so this is what came on my relatively inexpensive kind of beginner bow, uh, which is basically just a little shock absorber thing. Uh, when I was shopping for stabilizers again, I saw this kind of thing. They're like 20 bucks. Um, it's better than having nothing on the front of your bow, but uh, since I have actually put a stabilizer, which is not the top of the line stabilizer, uh, but was on sale and was worth an experiment. Uh, I've definitely noticed that these things do play a huge part um, in archery, which is why the competitive shooters have these gigantic like golf clubs hanging off the front of their bows. Um, it makes a difference. So today I just want to take a few shots with this guy, a few shots with the new stabilizer, uh, and just kind of show what that does to the groupings. Um, I'm not going to skew it, I'm not going to cheat it, just going to honestly give it my best shot from 50 yards. Uh, with both of those and look at what it does to the groupings and maybe it's something to consider if you're having trouble uh, with uh, with some consistency or your groupings are just bigger than you want them to be at this stage in the season. Alright guys I got the old stabilizer put back on the bow. Uh, like I said I'm just going to take three quick shots. Uh, I'm going to give it my best shot, not trying to skew the results here. Uh, and Then we'll put the new stabilizer on and compare the two groups and see what it does. Alright guys, this is the same drill, except I have the new stabilizer installed on the bow. Just going to send three arrows from 50 yards and see if it does anything to tighten up that group. Alright, so I'd say, if nothing else, the stabilizer makes a difference. Uh, clearly, it doesn't fix a uh, shooter error. That second arrow is a total flyer to the left, so I sent another one down to get an honest group on the target. Um, everything's missing a little left, which I either need to look at me or maybe make a slight adjustment on the sight. Um, but uh, I'm amazed at how much smaller the group gets when I do everything right and do my fundamentals consistently with the stabilizer. Uh, again, it's nothing fancy, It was it's a Trophy Ridge 6 inch thing, I'm not selling these things. Uh, I bought it because it was on sale for $45 at Cabela's and uh, if you're like me and you have a wife and three kids and uh, financial things have to happen, it's a lot easier to explain to the wife a $45 stick that comes out of your bow as opposed to a $120 one. Another thing I've noticed about the stabilizer is it uh, stabilizes, <laughs> go figure. Uh, but uh, you feel a lot less vibration in your hand. Uh, I didn't realize how much I was feeling until I had something to compare it to when I put this other one on. But everything just feels so much more solid. Uh, when I watch it back in the super slow-mo of myself shooting with the old one versus this new stabilizer, uh, the bottom of the bow goes out way farther with the old one. There's just less weight there to absorb it. Um, you can actually see the vibration in your forearm and your wrist as that string impacts. Um, and that's just minimized with the stabilizer. So that's all I got. It's not going to solve all your problems, but uh, if your groupings are a little bigger than you want them to be, especially as you get out to further distances um, and your fundamentals are good, uh, I would look at something like this. Uh, I'm sure there's arguments to be made for rests and sights and, and a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, but this is one of the cheapest, simplest upgrades you can make to your bow uh, that will help dial things in that much more, make you feel that much more confident heading into the woods this year.